coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, CBILS, has received quite a lot of publicity of late, mostly negative for the banks that are providing the funds, not providing the funds quickly enough. It's to some extent understandable with any new scheme, especially at a time when banking branches are largely closed, applications have to be made online. People are getting used to the rules, the conditions, then that's probably understandable. So I think we heard that one in 10 loans at first were being, were being um, accepted, were being made. One in one loan in every 10 applications. I'm sure that is improving. The banks say it's improving, so let's hope that continues. Um, so let's have a look at the conditions, and I'm talking here just generally about the conditions for applying for a CBILS loan uh, and the benefits of such a loan should you go along and try to get one. First of all, who qualifies? Well, it's, it's administered by the British Business Bank that basically corrals together ordinary lenders, 40 plus are apparently in the market for making these loans. Um, so the British Business Bank isn't a lending institution, it's whoever you borrow money from normally, whatever bank you borrow money from ordinarily. To qualify, you need to have turnover of less than 45 million pounds, and you can borrow up to five million pounds on those preferential terms. So what are those preferential terms? The government guarantees 80% of the loan, very preferential for you and even more so for the lender, and it's interest free. It is interest free for 12 months, which is a massive benefit, of course, to the borrower. Now, to all other, for all other purposes, to all other intents, the application needs to be made in the normal way. You'll need to have a business plan. You'll need to have an idea of what a reasonable repayment plan is. You need to be a viable business. And, and you can't force the bank to make a loan to you. They are being actively encouraged to make loans, but you can't force them. They'll consider the application, then decide whether to make the loan and what the commercial rate will be after the interest-free period goes. Again, pressure is being applied by the government to get this money into the system to help businesses that have otherwise kind of gone into or could go into hibernation without this money, with no funds. Um, you may need this money to even pay furlough payments to their staff. So basically, the loans exist, the terms are preferential, application processes what you would expect it to. So don't expect the bank not to ask you for a business plan or not to see your accounts. They are, I'm sure, will be a little bit softer than they were before, but they still exist. So C-bills exist. It exists for those small businesses, turnover under, under 45 million, up to 250,000. No personal guarantee can be requested by the bank for loans up to 250,000. For anything over that, they can only ask for a personal guarantee of 20% because the government is guaranteeing the other 80%. The main thing though, interest free for 12 months. There is a very good, I think, description of this in our tech link bulletin under the whatever it takes section, along with our constantly updated matrix of all the government support schemes. <laughs>